What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to go through a proof of Heron's formula, which is this nice formula here for finding the area of a triangle when you know all three sides. So let's jump into this proof. Okay, so for this proof here, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the trig formula for the area of a triangle. And the trig formula for the area of a triangle, we could say, is we have one half side A times side B times sine of angle C. And I'll make this A like a little bit scriptish to differentiate it from this one, because this is going to represent area. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides like this. So I want to square both sides. And now that's going to bring us to this step. We're going to have the area squared is equal to 1 half times itself is a fourth. And then we have A times A is A squared. And if we square B, we're going to get B squared. And then sine C times sine C is sine squared C. So from this step, what I want to do is I want to use this Pythagorean identity. When we have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, this is equal to 1. So if I want to get an expression just for sine squared, sine squared is equal to 1 minus cosine squared. So that would give us 1 fourth. We'd have a squared times b squared times 1 minus cosine squared c. And now from this step, what we're going to do is we're going to factor this because this is a difference of two squares. So I have the area squared is equal to, we're going to have 1 fourth times a squared times b squared. And then we're going to have this difference of two squares factoring to 1 plus cosine c times, and we're going to have 1 minus cosine of angle c like this. So for the next stage of this problem, we're going to use the law of cosines. And just know the law of cosines, we have a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of angle c is equal to side c squared. And what I want to do is I'm going to solve for cosine c. So what we're going to do from here, we could just subtract a squared and b squared on both sides. And we'll have minus 2ab cosine c is equal to, and we'll have c squared minus a squared minus b squared like this. And then I'll move that negative to the other side. So on the next line, we'll have 2ab times cosine of angle c equals, and if we move the negative to the other side, that's going to make a squared and b squared positive. So we'll have a squared plus b squared, and we'll just make that a little bit neater. And we have a squared plus b squared, but when we move the minus to the other side, that's going to make c squared take on a minus in front. And now we'll just divide both sides by 2ab, and what we have now is an expression for cosine of angle C. So we're going to have, at this step here, cosine of angle C is equal to, we're going to have A squared plus B squared minus C squared over, and then we have 2AB. But how does this help us? Well, now what we could do is we could replace cosine of C with this new expression for cosine C that we found here. So now we could say that the area squared is equal to 1 fourth, and we're going to have A squared times B squared, and then we're going to have 1 plus cosine of c we're going to replace with a squared plus b squared minus c squared over 2ab like this and then we're going to have 1 minus cosine of c is a squared plus b squared minus c squared over 2ab so for the next line here we have a little bit of algebra to do we're going to have the area squared equals and we have 1 fourth a squared times b squared and then this part here, instead of calling this 1, I'm going to call this 2ab over 2ab. Because then what we could do is when we add 2ab over 2ab plus this fraction, what we could write that as, we could write that as a squared plus, and that's where I'm going to write the 2ab, is between the a squared and the b squared. I'm going to have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus c squared like this over 2ab. So I'm just skipping a few steps here so we don't have to write out so many lines. And same thing here. I'm going to replace this with 2ab. So what we're going to have is we're going to have 2ab minus this expression here. So I'm going to have 2ab. I'm going to have minus a squared minus b squared plus c squared. So just know when you subtract a fraction with more than one term in the numerator, the minus has to distribute. So just be careful of that little step. So that brings us here. And now just a little bit more algebra. We have the area squared is equal to 1 fourth. We have a squared times b squared. And now we could factor this. This expression here, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, we could write as a plus b squared like this. And then we have minus c squared over 2 times a times b. So that brings us here. Whereas in the second fraction here, what we could do is we could write that as c squared. And then I'm going to write minus, And I'm going to have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared like this. Okay, so this one I'm writing a little bit different here. And let's just move that over so we have b squared and there we go. So that way we could actually see all of this. And that brings us to this step. So once again, I rearrange this one. This fraction's a little bit trickier. But if you do the distribution here, you'll see that it matches up to that step. 
So now once we get here, we could do a little bit more algebra. We have the area squared equals 1 fourth a squared times b squared. And now this is a difference of two squares. So I could write this as a plus b plus c times, and we would have a plus b minus c like this. So once again, this is a difference of two squares. So I could factor it like so. And then this is over 2ab. And now the second one here, the second fraction is also a difference of two squares. Except here I have c squared minus, and that I could rewrite as a minus b squared. Okay, so just know this is c squared minus, and this factors to a minus b squared. So then this would factor as c plus a minus b times c minus a minus b. And if I do c minus a minus b, that becomes c minus a plus b like this. Okay, so that brings us to this step, and we're over 2ab like this. So now we could start canceling things out. Notice a times a is a squared, which will cancel this a squared out completely. So these terms are gone. b times b is b squared. So this will cancel out completely and wipe this out. So now what we have is we have the area squared equals, and now notice I have two, four is equal to two times two, and then I have a two here and a two here. So I could write this as a plus b plus c over two. So here's one factor over two. That's the first factor. Then I have a plus b minus c over two like this. And then in this set of parentheses, I'm going to just flip this. I'm going to write that as a plus c minus b like this. So, and let's just fix that parentheses. So I have a plus c minus b, and this is over two. And then in the last one, we're going to have b plus c minus a over two like this. So once again, I'm just taking these four factors and putting them in four separate fractions. And since we have two times two times two times two, that's four factors of two that could go here. But now one thing to consider from before, S represented the semi-perimeter, and the semi-perimeter is A plus B plus C over 2. So you could already start to see how this is going to substitute out. And one thing I want to make note of is that something like S minus A, if I were to actually do a little bit of algebra here, would be A plus B plus C over 2. And if I subtract A, that's the same thing as subtracting 2A over 2 like this. And watch what this would work out to. This would work out to B plus C. And then a minus 2a would give us minus 1a over 2 like this. So you see b plus c minus a over 2 is equal to s minus a. So now we can make substitutions. We have the area squared is equal to a plus b plus c over 2 is the same thing as s. We just said before b plus c minus a over 2 is the same thing as s minus a. And by that same reasoning, a plus c minus b over 2 would be the same thing as s minus b. And then... Once again, same idea, a plus b minus c over 2 would be the same thing as s minus c. And then the last step here to solve for the area, we would just take the square root of both sides. And this gives us our formula. The area of a triangle is equal to the square root of the semi-perimeter times the semi-perimeter minus the length of the first side times the semi-perimeter minus the length of the second side. And then finally, we're multiplying by the semi-perimeter times the length of the third side.